Donald for Love of American Samoa, established in 1971, the American Samoa Council on Arts, Culture, and Humanities. Our main goal is to preserve the traditional Samoan arts and culture. We support the performing arts, visual arts, and arts in education. Ola unga luenga, ola unga luenga for artists. It's too no le unga. Ola o ina le o fa fi fi anga, ma pese fa ala nga no fa samo. Ola isi le va nga taua iri tulanga for artists. O a mi o le fa nau, lo te umalu e to no le fa lo alo. O le fa lo alo, o le fa va le o le nga no fa samo. O i lo ta fi fi ma mau le isi va nga le nga no fa samo. I'm a fourth generation Siapo maker, and I learned how to do Siapo actually from my Auntie Mary J. Pritchard, who is this world renowned tapa maker. Tapa being the more universal word used for bark cloth painting. And the canvas for us is what they call ua, which is the paper mulberry bark. We use natural dyes, and we use even our brushes are made from a po'omo tree, which is a beautiful brush, and actually the dyes just don't work unless you have that in your hand when you're going to paint. It's one of those art forms that used to be taught in the villages, and now we have in place an art course that's called Indigenous Art Forms that covers siapo and wood carving, so that students engage in seeing their indigenous art forms and are better equipped to engage in some of the Western style of art. The National Endowment for the Arts funding enables uh, teachers to come into the classroom that are hired through AIE that help to bring the arts into the classroom to our young people. I teach history in American Samoa Public High School. When I saw on the newspaper ad that there is uh, a grant, I applied right away. The grant itself is to help out educators to be able to incorporate arts in their classroom. Samoan students are naturally talented through the using of arts. And so I believe I incorporate arts. They understand more about the concept. <laughs> Hello, I'm from the American Samoa Art Council.